Hey everybody, this is Gabe at Security Baron, and today we're reviewing the Cove Home Security System. Now, Cove is positioning itself as something a little bit different than your traditional security company and a little bit different than your larger do-it-yourself security system. So, let's check it out. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security systems, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Systems. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. In today's review of the Cove Home Security System, we're gonna talk about the components we got and how easy they were to set up, the professional monitoring options, the customer support, and the mobile application. Included with our Cove Home Security System, here at Security Baron, we have the door sensor, a motion sensor, an all-important window decal, your touch alarm panel, a key fob that allows us to arm and disarm the system, and your handy dandy yard sign. Let's begin with the Cove touchscreen panel. Now, this serves as your hub, your command center, your everything. Right in the screen itself, you can go ahead and set up up to 20 generated codes, giving different people access. Now, if you give people different access with their unique user code, it doesn't mean that they can actually change the settings and give anybody else access or anything like that. And that's really useful, especially, you know, if you're a bit of a controlling, uh, you know, person, you wanna know what's going on in your home, uh, that's available right there in the touchscreen panel. Now, with Cove, I just wanna go ahead and say that the design aesthetic is really interesting. I, I like it. Um, it gives you this really interesting widescreen. Uh, I got this cool aspect ratio. It's basically all white with a little bit of blue in your just two buttons. And you got this speaker that allows you to talk directly to the professional monitoring team in the case that you need to do so. Of course, this speaker also serves as a siren, so you can try to scare any potential intruders. Now, in terms of placement, it comes ready to lie flat. So that's how it comes out of the box. You can lie it flat in your foyer, uh, your entryway, right on a console table, just so that it's easy access, boop, doop, 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 and you're out of the house. Or when you enter the house, you can just enter the code and be ready to go. Now, if you still like to wall mount things, they do give you the wall mounting option. They send you a plate and brackets, and you can put that up at eye level or whatever level you like to keep your wall mounted devices, and you're in and out in the same manner. So overall, I'm actually really into this design and what it does for you. The fact that you can generate 20 unique users uh, to get in and out of your house when you need, you know, like a dog walker or your children uh, is really, really useful. So that's the Cove touchscreen alarm panel. Now with any home security system, I consider the entry sensors to be a core component right along with your alarm panel hub. Now with Cove, you basically know what you're getting. Uh, it's pretty typical in terms of how an entry sensor works. You put the larger part on the frame of the door, you put the smaller part on the actual door itself, and so these are magnets. And once they get basically further than a pencil width apart, they will sound alerting you and your system and your mobile application that someone has entered your home. So this is a bit how it works. So now I know that my door one is open. Uh, Cove does give you the opportunity, or the ability rather, to set names for the various entry sensors, and that's just a really useful thing to have. Now in terms of aesthetics, uh, these are pretty typical. I will say that what distinguishes these, I don't know what you would call that, uh, like an arc uh, with a little line in the middle, almost like a bullseye when you put them both together, and they are your white, so they blend in seamlessly to your door and they just work really well. So those are the entry sensors on the Cove home security system. In your Cove home security system, you'll also always get a motion sensor. Now motion sensor, basically you wanna put in any type of highly trafficked area because it's gonna pick up who's coming in and out inside of the home. So if maybe you know they come through your chimney and able to dupe your entry sensor, your motion sensor will still pick up on any movement inside of the house. Now, don't worry with uh, the Cove motion sensor, it's not gonna pick up on any pets um, under 45 pounds, so you don't have to worry about your uh, little poodle 
uh, actually the poodles can be kind of big. You don't have to worry about your little Bichon Frise constantly uh, setting off your motion sensor. Now, you can just turn it off if you need to because Cove allows you to arm and disarm specific sensors. So if you don't wanna be using your motion sensor, then just don't use it, uh, especially like when you're in the home. That's just something you wouldn't want to happen because you're gonna be bombarded with notifications. Now, when it comes to this motion sensor, uh, I actually am pretty familiar with this design. Uh, it looks pretty similar to all motion sensors that we've seen here at Security Baron, and it comes with our favorite tape, that 3M on the back allows you to adhere it to a wall very easily, and once you adhere to that wall, you basically don't have to worry about it again for five years because that's the battery life on the motion sensor from Cove Security. Now, motion sensors typically are something I don't think about once I put them up, and it's nice to know that this aesthetic will definitely work with that with its all white. So that's the motion sensor for the Cove home security system. Another item you get with your Cove home security system is your key fob. Now key fobs are another way to access your system in terms of arming, disarming, or even doing a panic alert. Um, key fobs are useful if you don't feel like you know, finding the app on your phone, uh, which we all know, you know, you can have a cluttered uh, app space, or if you're not near your actual alarm panel. So the key fob is just very straightforward, simple way of getting to the primary functions of your home security system. Now, the design, it's pretty simple on the Cove key fob. You got your silver on the top that you're gonna, you know, place onto your key ring, makes it just like any other car key fob. I'm a big fan. And then you have the rest of it just being black with your panic button very obviously being red because you don't wanna mistakenly press that and you know have the authorities coming to your home. So that's the key fob on the Cove home security system. And finally, we're on to maybe my favorite part of any home security system, your yard sign and window decal. Now, when I'm walking around Brooklyn at this point, I kinda just love to see who has what company's decal in their window. Uh, remember, it is your first line of defense to anyone who may be thinking about intruding upon your space, uh, getting into your home. And I know I should probably be finding uh, more fun things to do in Brooklyn, but it's just something that I do on my walk every day, and it's really interesting to see because I'm like, oh, okay, they have this, they have that, and when you have this in your front yard and this on your window, people know you are protected by Cove. Now, at this point in the review, you may be saying, Gabe, where's the Cove security camera? And frankly, Cove is a new company and they do not have a proprietary camera yet. They recommend that you get a WISE or E1080 camera to go with what we think is a very important element of any home security system, video footage. Now that is something that we really focus on here at Security Baron and just something that Cove cannot yet provide. Also be aware of the fact that if you get the Wise and the E1080, you're gonna to have to use their own apps for that as they do not integrate with the Cove mobile application or the Cove touchscreen alarm panel. Quick break. You've seen here at Security Baron how important we think security cameras are to a security system as a whole. So we were wondering about our viewers and what they thought about security cameras and how necessary they are for a home security system. So just leave us a comment below with your thoughts. Let's get back to the video. Now that we know all the components that we got with our Cove home security system, let's talk about the installation process, which really starts online when you order the system. Now, when I ordered my Cove system, I put in all the necessary details so that they could pre-program it to my needs. So I put in the address where it'll be located, um, what components I needed, and that basically makes it so that once you get it out, uh, it's plug and play. And that is put into practice with this touchscreen alarm panel. Uh, I took it out, I plugged it in, and I went through a few screens, set up my unique passcode, they ran a couple of tests, and I was ready to go with the touch screen. It didn't require me to put in inf information, I didn't have to go through a Wi-Fi setup, it was just ready to go, and that all stemmed from that initial online process, which was really easy. Now moving on to our motion sensor, remember it is pre-programmed into the system, and it is very straightforward. 
Uh, they say, hey, get your motion sensor ready, go place it on a shelf, and they will test it for you. Now, I say shelf because we have a nice shelf here, a security bearing in a corner that works really well for testing out our motion sensors, but they also come with our favorite 3M adhesive on the back so you could put it directly on the wall. Now, the motion sensor is placed in a specific place. It asks you, is it ready? Uh, and then you walk in front of it and it will test the system right there on the alarm panel. So that is a really useful element of the Cove home security system is that you immediately know whether or not something works right out of the box. The final component to be installed for us were the entry sensors with our Cove home security system. Now, these also come pre-programmed to your alarm panel, which makes it very straightforward. Now, you'll do it all right here on the system and then it walks you through it, even telling you when to go place the items on the door. Now, you have your adhesive here, you're gonna go to your frame and you'll place the larger piece on the frame itself and then you're gonna line up that little bullseye here and have the smaller piece on the door because this part stays static and this part will move. So the dynamic piece, once it breaks a certain distance, between the magnets that connect the two, it will let your system know. And what's great about Cove is that it goes through that testing process right here on the touchscreen alarm panel so you know instantly that your system is working. So that's setting up the entry sensors on the Cove home security system. At the end of the physical installation process with the Cove home security system, you actually get a call from Cove themselves, uh, just to ensure that you understand how your system is working, uh, how the professional monitoring is set up, and they just tell you that you're in a test mode for the next two hours and give you the option to extend it. So if I really wanted to test out my system for a little bit longer and not worry about them calling me in terms of professional monitoring uh, and sending the authorities, you can extend it for you know probably 10, 12, maybe a whole nother day. And I thought that was a really interesting thing that Cove lets you do because it, one, it makes sure that you're really understanding your system because what is a home security system if you're not using it properly. So that is the last part of the installation process with the Cove home security system. Now that we have set up all the components of our Cove home security system, let's talk about the professional monitoring options. Now Cove has taken a different tack than a lot of the new uh, other do-it-yourself companies out there. They don't allow you to self-monitor. Every Cove home security system comes with the cellular backup and also a professional monitoring plan. Now, that's gonna give you a team of professionals 24 seven, making sure that your home is safe. And that's really important for us here at Security Baron. It's just a little bit strange that you can't self-monitor at all. So what does that look like? Well, there are two options with the Cove home security system when it comes to professional monitoring. The first option with Cove Professional Monitoring is the basic plan. Now the basic plan gives you 24 seven professional monitoring, automatic system checkups, cellular data, and smash and grab protection. But it also gives you Instatext, which allows you to text with the Cove Professional Monitoring team and Live Assist, which allows for two-way audio right here on the touch panel. So those are all the options that come with the basic plan. Now, the second option, the value plan, gives you everything from the basic plan plus mobile alerts, the ability to control your system remotely, and turn your one-year warranty into a lifetime warranty. Now, no matter how you cut it with the Cove home security system, the professional monitoring plans are very affordable, which leads us into their contract plans. Now, when you have a contract that is a pay up front contract, you're gonna pay $15 a month for your basic plan and $25 a month for your value plan. Now, if you have a pay later contract, which allows you to bundle the equipment with the professional monitoring, you're gonna pay $25 a month for the basic plan and $35 a month with the value plan. Now, you can cancel any of these contracts at any point, uh, they call it month to month contracting, but just remember that if you have the pay later plan, you will have to pay off the remainder of your equipment and the equipment costs about $500, just depending on what you get with your system and which components. Now, that's a pretty great deal considering the prices of many other professional monitoring uh, companies out there. 
And remember that if you decide to cancel for any reason within the first 60 days, Cove guarantees you a full refund. So those are the contracting and professional monitoring policies for the Cove Home Security System. Now that we've discussed the professional monitoring options for the Cove Home Security System, let's talk about the actual customer support team. And with Cove, you have a lot of options. You've got one, a helpful FAQ with tons of guides online to help you get through any issue. You also have email, online chat, online form, and even snail mail if you're feeling a little bit old fashioned. So now that we know that there are a host of ways to get in touch with the customer support team, let's talk about people's actual experiences. Now in the Google reviews for the Cove Home Security System, it has a 4.9 rating out of five stars, which is incredible. And it's now at over 165 reviews. So while it's not the most we've ever seen, I wouldn't consider that a small sample size. Now, 165 reviews, 4.9 stars, and the majority of which are five stars, especially the ones relating to the customer support. On a personal note, I can definitely echo the sentiments of the Google reviewers because every time I had a question for Cove on the online chat, they answered me promptly and with tons of information. So informative customer support team that's really on top of it, and I really commend them for their customer support experience. Now that we've taken a look at the customer support for the Cove Home Security System, let's look at the user experience in the mobile application. Beginning with the Google Play Store, it has 3.8 out of five star rating, uh, which isn't bad, but also not the best, but it is still a very small sample size. At the time of this shooting, we only had five reviews, and that's where we got that 3.8 rating. So Cove is a new system. Not a lot of people have left reviews for the Google Play Store, so anxious to see how that develops in the future. However, for the App Store, for the iPhone, we actually have a 4.3 rating, so definitely doing well for the mobile app when it comes to the App Store and the Cove home security system. Now that we've seen what other people think about the mobile app, let's see what it looks like on my iPhone. So here we are inside the Cove mobile application. Now you'll note that the most important element is right there on the middle of the screen where it says disarmed and right below it, it says tap to arm your system. So this is the most important element of any home security system is whether or not your system is armed. So if I want to arm it, all I have to do is hit that middle button like so. Now you'll note that it gives me two options to on the middle. I can stop the action completely or on the top. There's a yellow icon that says stay and below it, a red icon that says away. So those are giving you two different ways to arm your system. You know, the stay will generally keep off your motion sensors so that you don't set it off, but keep open the door sensors uh, and window sensors or any type of entry sensor so that you know if someone is coming in or out of your home. Now the away one will turn on everything. So let's just see what it's like when I hit the stay icon. Arming stay. So now you know that it's arming to stay. And if you look on the screen, there's an exit delay. That gives you time to um, get out of your home and make sure you have everything gathered so that you're not setting off the alarm as you're leaving. Now, I don't actually want that to be on right now, so I can hit cancel right below it. Put in my pin. System disarmed, ready to arm. And now I've unarmed my system. Now, it would be the same process if I wanted to arm it for away. On the bottom, there are two icons, or rather just text. One says sensors and one says options. If I tap sensors, I can look at my individual sensors on the screen. And if I hit options, I can decide to turn on or rather activate my silent alarm or not. Now on the top left corner, you get the settings icon with those three lines. Now when I'm in settings, the first one is locations. So if you go into locations, you can see your locations as they understand it for the Cove home security system because you know they have the location that they think you are because you set it up initially on the website. Now below locations, you'll see users and users allows you to see everyone and their phone number that you've put into the system. So I can put myself in the system, my brother's in the system, and all of these names and phone numbers will go directly in there. Now, going forward, the next thing below it is activity. And so activity gives you everything that you've done 
in that day. So for today, we've logged in, we've had various motion reports, we've had various door sensors open and close, and that's your options for the day. Now, below that, you have recipes, which allow you to basically do an if-then then that situation where you can set up basic automation with your Cove home security system. And that can be just one particular notification or you can actually create a scene which is a ton of different devices working together and having various uh, interactions with one another. Below that you have settings. Settings you can check your preferences if you wanna turn on face ID, auto sign in. You can look at the terms and conditions of using the Cove system and change your language. Now, there's actually a pretty significant number of languages for the Cove system, which I find to be pretty impressive. Um, as someone uh, who's a little bit multilingual, um, it might be fun to use it in a different language, as long as you understand it, considering this is your family safety at stake. Now, going on, you have security. You can look at your connection and the various elements of the panel. And once again, look at your sensors. The final part of the settings is whether or not you want to sign out. Now, I don't know when you'd want to sign out of your Cove system, but that is something that you can do right in the settings. So that's the Cove mobile application. Um, but considering there are no cameras that integrate with this mobile app, um, there's not a lot to do other than arm and disarm your system or check on your various sensors throughout your home. So I am checking out the touchscreen panel on the Cove home security system. Pretty straightforward. Of course, the most important elements are the arm stay and arm away. So with these, you know exactly what's going on when you're arming your system. So if I'm in the house, I'm going to hit arm stay. Arming stay. Now it's giving me one minute uh, to leave the home. Uh, rather, it's giving me one minute to know that my entry sensors are going to remain on but it knows that I'm actually at the house. So I don't actually want that on for now. Uh, or for example, if I wanted to give myself a little bit more time, I could hit add 30 seconds. So you know, sometimes it takes kids a little bit longer to put their shoes on or your dog doesn't want to go outside. And I really like that add 30 second um, option to give myself a little bit more time. Um, if this were in the arm away, for example. Now let me hit cancel. And now if I wanna make sure this doesn't happen, I have to go ahead and... System disarmed. Now my system is disarmed. And it will be the same thing with arm away. Arming away. Now, this is a little bit more intense because this will set everything on, your motion sensors, and they will be expecting uh, anything that goes on in your house to mean that something is actually going on in terms of an event and will definitely register on your professional monitoring. System disarmed, ready to arm. Now, right here on the home screen, I can go ahead and turn that silent exit on or off. Um, so next time I do it, if I hit this, I don't actually have to hear that incessant beeping um, that you know some people may find annoying. Now, of course, I want to turn this off again, so I hit cancel. Once again, put in my code. System disarmed, ready to arm. Now I can even change the volume of the panel itself right here on the front page. Test, 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 test. Ah, nice and soft. Now. On this same page, you can go look at your messages. So whether or not anything was tampered with, you can also look and see if you want the audible alerts for your messages. I turn those off here. Then go back and look at settings. Now, when I go into settings, I can look at the sensors, and the sensors have doors, windows, motion sensors, remotes, smoke, medical, flood, glass break. Now, with our system, we only set up a door and the motion sensors and the remotes, but those will all be accessible right here, and you can look and see what each one of them are doing. 
Now if I go back, I can look at the system as a whole. My display options, your typical display options, screen brightness, display timeout, clean screen. System info, letting you know what's going on. I can test the system, so there are various cellular communication, complete sensor, and these are things you can do apart from the automatic system checkup that you get with your professional monitoring with Cove. I can look at the sounds, uh, looking at the various chimes, uh, change the voice to male. I'm ready to arm. Now we have a different uh, system for, or rather different voice for our system. Look at the exit delay. You can make it be up 75 seconds, 90 seconds, 105 seconds, whatever you like in terms of how much time you're gonna get before your alarm starts to work when you're leaving or sending it on arm stay. Of course, we have user passcodes. And for the purposes of this video, I set the user passcode to 1111 and uh, I suggest you never actually set your passcode to that. You can also have a hostage passcode, which is pretty interesting, or you can just start to add new users and give each of them a various passcode. Once again, we can go look at our history and see all the things that we've done. We've got 26 pages of various uh, sensors going on and off, and that's useful just to remember what was going on any particular day. In the left-hand corner, you see your battery, you see your cellular capacity. Those are all things that are really useful to have on the touchscreen panel, along with your two buttons. One allows you to call professional monitoring, one takes you to the home page, and your speaker. And your speaker allows you to talk to the professional monitoring, and it will let you do a siren sound in case there is an event in your home. This is us looking at the touchscreen panel for the Cove Home Security System. We've come a long way with the Cove home security system. Uh, I've made some mistakes, you've made some mistakes, um, but we really wanna get to that thing that's dividing us right now, and it is whether or not the Cove home security system is right for you. Now, if you're someone who wants month-to-month -month payments in terms of your contract, or you know a flexible equipment payment schedule, and just everything you could expect with the traditional home security system, then this might be the right system for you. However, if you're someone who've come to expect uh, what is really the more modern way of going about things, even with the traditional home security systems in terms of smart platform integration or a camera that's built in directly to the home security system and the mobile application, then you're gonna have to look somewhere else. Now, me personally, I am a sucker for good customer support and we've not seen customer support at the level of Cove with anyone, they are, they're the champions. But I do have to say that I really like my smart platform integrations and my security camera that I can look at all in one app. I like to be able to do all those things in one and having to separate my camera app and my home security app, uh, it just may be a bridge too far for me. But that's my opinion on the Cove home security system. So that concludes our review of the Cove home security system. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at Security Baron. Be secure.